This is my Hayward H400 uh, heater. There are three circuit boards inside of here, and then there's one board that has all the fuses. Uh, the issue I'm having is I really can't, it doesn't really turn off. All three circuit boards are brand new. This is new, and this came with a circuit board. Attaches to a circuit board for the display. Attaches to a main circuit board for the ignition. All three of those are brand new. And I still have this, okay? So here, it's set for pool. Okay, you switch the mode to, that's the off, okay? Can you see both lights are lit? Standby and pool? That shouldn't be, it should be just standby. So you have either spa, pool, or standby pool. I've changed all the circuit boards within this machine. So I have no idea. This has happened regardless of whether it's my old circuit boards or brand, three brand new ones. I figured I would get rid of this issue. All right, and the problem with this is even though it's on standby now, I actually have to turn the propane off in order to make sure it doesn't eat through the whole tank because there's no way of turning this off. It's, it's right now the water temperature is 83 degrees. Okay, and I think it's gonna fire. I just set it for 84. All right, so let's see what happens. Right now it should be on standby, okay? And there it goes, it's firing. Let's see if it fires up. Yeah, so it just fired up. So there's no way to turn this, there is no way of turning this off with the set point above what the temperature is in the pool. Because here's the off. This is the off mode, theoretically, okay? You can go to, put, that's, a, that's spa, pool, or standby. And it's running in standby mode because the temperature, the set temperature is above. So what I do is, I mean, if it gets cold at night, there's no way of turning this thing off. So besides lowering the temperature, I also turn off the propane supply. And that's a shame, it shouldn't be like that with three brand new circuit boards. So if anybody knows what's going on, maybe the prior owner switched a couple of wires or something. I don't know, if anybody from Hayward knows what would make this happen, I'd appreciate it.